Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos. Today I am going to be talking about the brand new Opre Air Gel System, which is an airbrush that uses gel airbrush paint versus like an acrylic airbrush paint. So I just got this, so this is going to be like an unboxing and kind of a first impressions type of review. And I also wanted to say that I did purchase this with my own money. This was not gifted to me or anything like that. So I'm going to be giving you guys a true, honest review, the good and the bad, especially because this is something that is a little bit on the spendy side. Um, one reason that I was more interested in purchase, purchasing the Opre air gel system is because the standard like acrylic airbrush paint can sometimes have issues with causing the top coat to chip off and stuff like that. So I figured if the airbrush paint is made of gel and you're curing it, it would help prevent chipping. So that is one of the reasons why I decided to purchase the Opre air gel system. So the box came with three boxes. We have the set of colors that I ordered, the airbrush head, and then also like the body of the airbrush that has the air compressor, I think you would call it in. One of my first impressions right off the bat, I think you guys can tell that this paper is kind of like wrinkled and doesn't look very neat or nice. And that was one thing that was a little bit unsettling for me when I first opened the package, just because this is something that is more on the spendy side, like I said, and I would expect everything to be very nicely packaged. And the fact that the paper has like all these kind of like folds and just, it doesn't look very clean or neat. So in the first box here, we have the kind of body of the airbrush and there is a compartment in the back to charge it. And there's just a power switch on the front. It is a beautiful airbrush. Like it's black and has kind of like a shimmer to it with that gold top. And then underneath here, we have the charger to charge the airbrush. Everything does seem to be packaged really, really nicely. The next box has the airbrush head and it, this is a pretty nice like box. I was pretty impressed by this. You got to be really, really careful with the airbrush head. You do not want to drop it or anything like that. I believe it's pretty delicate. So I do like that it comes kind of with this really nice box. So this is what it looks like. It says Opre Air on the side of it. I believe they said it's made in Germany and it's specifically form or specifically made to work with their air gel airbrush paint. Here's kind of a closer look at the airbrush head. When you pull off the or unscrew the back, you can kind of see the needle that goes through the airbrush. I'm not going to mess with that right now. Um, if for some reason it feels like it's getting clogged, then I will go through and clean it, but I'm really not going to pull it apart just to pull it apart. <laughs> Next is the box of colors. They had a couple different options to choose from. You could either choose to get the whole collection of colors, which would be 20 colors, or you could just get half. So they had two different collections, so you could choose one or the other. I wanted the one that had black and white in it because I felt like those would be the most popular things, especially doing baby boomers. I really wanted the white airbrush gel. So I ordered the kit of colors that had the black and the white in them. And then also came with this little pamphlet kind of explaining the um, care and instructions for the airbrush air gel. This is what the little bottles look like. They do need to be shaken before you use them. They have kind of like that little metal ball or something inside of them that needs to be shaken before you use it each time. So here's all the colors. This is the white, which is A001. A002 is the black. Next is a gray, which is A903. We have yellow, which is A904. Next is the orange, which is A905. Next is almost like a burnt orange, like terracotta kind of color, A906. We have the red, which is A907. 
we have a light pink, which is A908, a more of a darker kind of berry pink, A909, and then we also have like a nude, which is A910. One thing I did want to talk about, which I found a little bit odd, was I did not get the colors that I ordered. So I ordered set number one, which shows all of these like purples, blues, and then it has the black, white, yellow, and orange. But what I ended up getting was the bottom row of set number one. And then I got the bottom row of set number two, which I found really odd. So I was totally expecting to get like purples and blues. So I was kind of surprised when I opened it and it was mostly reds and pinks, but I still got the black and white. So I guess I'm thankful for that. But that is another thing that was a little bit odd to me. I don't understand why the, it's different from what was pictured. And then the other thing that I was a little bit sure about was you can see from their Instagram, it says um, all pre-orders will come with this free maintenance kit. And I did place the pre-order and it's I did not get that maintenance kit in my box. So those I will say are the couple things made this purchase a little bit unsettling to me, especially because again, it's such a expensive item that... I didn't get quite what I thought I was getting ordered and also I didn't get the free maintenance kit that it said it would include. So I am going to email them about that and we'll see what they say. So I'm going to show you guys a little demo that I did on a nail tip and I will say that the first demo I tried did not work. So it took a couple times for me to kind of figure out what worked with the gels that I have. And um, as you can see, I'm just testing it out on kind of a paper towel first just to kind of get the feel of it. And I used that darker berry color just to kind of play around with. So the first tip I practiced on, I did a nude color, which is Luxio Forever. And I just did two coats of that nude color and I did not put a top coat. I did not wipe the tacky layer. It's still tacky from the gel polish and then I went directly and sprayed the air gel on to that nude color and I have to say it looked absolutely beautiful and then after that I went and cured it because this is a gel so it needs to be cured for 30 seconds but the weird thing about it was I went and did a second layer and then when I like touched it with my glove it was still tacky like it did like tacky in a way that it was wet and it just came right off so I thought that was a little bit weird and I was a little bit like freaking out about it so next I tried it with a putting a gel matte top coat on it first and then going in with the airbrush paint I did the matte and then I wiped the tacky layer so it's a complete it's not sticky or wet surface or anything like that I did the airbrush and then I cured it and then when I touched it after that one it was definitely cured and not like wet at all so I'm kind of thinking that maybe the air gel paint maybe just isn't compatible with the Luxio gel polishes like their inhibition layer so I definitely you know, got to play around with these things and see what works and doesn't. I suggest if you order it, you do that first before you work on clients. Um, yeah, so it totally worked with doing the matte top coat first. And as you can see from the two samples, the, the one on the right is the very first one and it did not, you can tell it's like streaky, like it did not cure. I also do want to say that they recommend using their gel polish base coat before you apply the air gel paint. I did not actually see that they recommended that until after I ordered it. It did not say anything about that in the pre-order of the air gel system. I just saw it later like on their Instagram them saying that they recommend using the gel polish base coat before you apply the airbrush paint so it's possible that that is more compatible with the airbrush paint I'm gonna have to like order those possibly and just try it out you know try different combinations but I did want to say that that they do recommend using their base gel before you apply the airbrush paint 
So I went ahead and called my sister to come over and let me practice on her to kind of see, test it out. So we just did a gel polish mani over her natural nails. So what I'm doing is first we did two coats of like a clear nude color just to give it just a hint of color. And now I'm going in with that matte top coat. This is the Koopa No Wipe Matte Top Coat. So it comes out matte straight from the lamp. And then I'm going to go in with the white color in the airbrush. And I'm going to use that on the tips kind of to create a baby boomer look. And also to protect my sister's skin around her nails, I kind of got creative and I used some forms to protect the skin because this is gel so you want to make sure you do the best you can to not get it on the skin and I bet you could also use that like liquid latex around the cuticle area or something like that but I don't have that so this is just kind of what I tried out using and it actually ended up working pretty well was using the forms and kind of wrapping it around the skin and then I ended up doing two coats of that and I cured each coat for 30 seconds in the lamp and then I top coated with my Luxio top coat which also when I applied the top coat it did kind of try and separate and like pit a little bit over the airbrush. So again, I'm just thinking that maybe it's not compatible with the Luxio gel polish. So I ended up doing two coats of the top coat and this is the end result. I've told my sister that she has to report back to me if anything happens to see how it wears or anything like that. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys would consider ordering or not. And I will definitely report back to see how it wears on my sister's nails. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And please give it a thumbs up. And follow me on my social media, Nails by Katie Dutra. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks!